Ja. YouTube. Ah, here is glider. Ron Whitman's uh, Super Sweep 22 or 24 inches wingspan. I build uh, 24 inches, so it is uh, SS 24. Uh, build is not easy but not that difficult when you start uh, it is hard actually to start but uh, once they will feeling uh, everyone can do actually look uh, where is darker to, uh, you will see hill and just remove that Uh, it is not followed complete uh, because I have choice, bad choice of balsa. Uh, I don't know whether it's visible. Uh, this is C grain and this is A grain. So I have very limited choice of balsa in Croatia, at least in my place. Um, uh, already repaired one part. Uh, this is uh, yesterday flight. Oh. Okay. Oh, still too much, uh, too much. I'm going to the left. I need to repair this and this end. Uh, I forgot to sweep this. Uh, it should be like this. And uh, it is done actually here, cut wing and pull one millimeter. So here should to be about six millimeters, but it is not, it is not, uh, this is uh, 3.5 millimeters and going down. Reason for this is uh, too heavy balsa and whole thing weights right now about 30 grams uh, without uh, adding lead to the tail and front is uh, 27 grams also I changed this part it's uh, it was broken and uh, it was something like here maybe eight centimeters longer uh, but I did one mistake I did not see that this part uh, that this element should to be at bottom and it should be uh, parallel to this line, to to root line. Otherwise, it will go as like this. And uh, no matter how I compensate, uh, it doesn't fly uh, correctly. Now this part is too wide, and uh, it can be glued aside. Uh, so this is uh, center line is. Slightly, slightly offset and slightly tilted so that it uh, goes left turn. So let's say uh, flight pattern uh, right launch. This means when you launch, uh, this is indoor. Uh, but I, I added this part so that uh, I can catapult. Uh, when you fly, you start to the right. Uh, imagine one plane. Uh, let's pretend that this is plane. Uh, uh, 45 degrees for example if you start like this this right part this will go like this and straighten if you launch like this it will not straighten it will go down uh, hi kitty oh. uh, here is some insert uh, with uh, you may judge by uh, shadow that I record later so uh, why uh, the hedral, uh, actually well, why polyhedral, uh, two planes, at least uh, one, two, four planes. Dihedral means two planes plus additional two, four planes. Why it is good? Because when it goes up, 
it at one point it stops and it begins to barrel roll. If it's just uh, straight wing, it will uh, go as crazy. If it's just dihedral, it will go as like this. But uh, it will make um, uh, this part will make resistance, and uh, it will stop. Then tail element should to do its function to straighten, but it is uh, lost energy. It begins to drop. So. It will be the best option that is continuous cure surface for a such small glider, but it's not possible with Balta. Uh, for anyone who wonder, this is not problem to make. This is not problem to make. Uh, I cut here about three centimeters or one inch plus. Then this part is not cut completely. Just uh, with knife, uh, move it a little bit left and right. Here is according to plan uh, one in no, uh, 16 millimeters. Uh, some strange uh, numbers. <laughs> uh, I, I should convert everything to metric because I'm confused. And put here uh, spacer, then glue this part. Then put spacer, then glue this and this part. So again, uh, cut this here completely because after uh, grinding it uh, goes like this. When you cut, actually you release stress. When you sandpaper, this part tends to expand due to heat and it warping or it produces natural warp or balsa. If there is no warp, there is no problem. But anyway, I recommend to cut this one inch at least. Uh, and uh, when you glue, uh, I used only glue I have here. This is cyanoacrylate CA. Uh, very liquid, very, uh, I don't know this English word, thin glue. When you use thin glue, it goes into the pore. And uh, after applying uh, activator spray, accelerator, it becomes stone hard. It is very, very hard. This glue is, uh, I think, harder than balsa. So you can see that uh, with some caution I can actually hold here. Not that fragile. Also, this is 0.5 millimeter uh, balsa. Not good one, uh, dark, too dark to me. Uh, yes, I made mistake and this is not... Uh, I accidentally pull knife wrongly. Um, this part is not needed for catapult. Uh, just added this part and uh, keep it short. I mean, not too much extruded, else it will make uh, additional uh, air drag. Uh, this is not good. Uh, I just um, woven a uh, solder and protect from moving with some masking tape what else oh uh, if you wonder original design is planned so i will repeat again plan this part to be here and this part should be at edge but uh, i don't know this is a pretty old design at this time, I think there is no cyanoacrylate, so they recommend uh, other glue. But today you can attach anything you want, anything, anywhere. So, um, why it is important that this part actually to be here? After main wing, uh, make lifting action, exit air, may be a little bit turbulent there's two choices or put one centimeter or three or more pylon or do like this but here should be a different shape something like this and this part should to be parallel with this uh, this is um, uh, just uh, snap it this is too, too long body 
I don't like this too long body because when in tools uh, it has some effect on it. So I will redesign. Uh, I should to destroy this part. I say destroy because it is not possible to uh, unglue by any means. Uh, see an acrylic glue holding so well that it's rock hard even on my fingers you can see residue and uh, destroy this part build new one because it's already chipped uh, too many crushes and uh, flimsy balsa uh, I lacquered once sanded and it makes impossible to uh, accumulate water but uh, if you want to wet a little bit and uh, Put, it's also impossible to, for example, this part is very hard, it actually begins to break. Uh, <laughs> so if you plan to do some modifications, uh, lacquer this part with uh, nitro lacquer with filament, there is some, some puder, uh, something like a baby puder, um, magnesium sulfate or something. And uh, this part lucky, but li leave this part so that you can flexibly move. Nitro lacquer does uh, two things. First, it prevents uh, accumulating of water. Second thing, uh, you can see that uh, some sharp objects, when it falls down, try to penetrate. And uh, if it is protected well, uh, it can penetrate deep. Uh, balsa is soft wood, depends on uh, quality. I found only this one, not the best. Here is hard, here is not so hard. Uh, actually, um, if you see darker strips, this is hard part. Uh, uh, brighter is soft. <laughs> so also you can see that uh, I cannot uh, make proper airfoil. Because as I move sandpaper, it actually the um, harder parts skip and dig into softer parts so it uh, makes uh, waves and uh, nah. but anyway uh, it is as it is uh, it flies uh, relatively good uh, it is not planned for outdoor but yeah with so few modifications it can fly So that's it uh, for now, thank you for watching, please rate, comment, share and subscribe. Until next time, bye bye. Uh, air here is turbulent, uh, moving all over the place and uh, <coughs> there is exactly uh, because wind is blowing here, moving like this.